What's going on everyone? In today's video we're looking at five of the best stretches for people who do a lot of walking. Walking might not seem that stressful to your body, but if you're doing a lot of it in high volume, we have certain muscle groups that can get tight and that can lead to pain. So if you're doing a lot of walking, stay tuned for today's video. For our first exercise, we're going to target the plantar fascia and the muscles on the bottom of the foot. When people are involved in a lot of walking or standing for long periods, they can get plantar fasciitis and pain on the bottom of the foot. So with this first exercise, you're going to take a small hand towel at your house and roll it up. With this, we're gonna place our foot so that our big toe is lifted up onto the towel. More current research has shown that this is a great way to target the bottom of the foot, the plantar fascia, and those uh, muscles, those layers of muscles on the bottom of the foot. So place your big toe up. You're gonna step forward with the other leg and then go into a traditional calf stretch. So not only will you feel a stretch in your calf muscles, which will help with lots of walking, but this will also stretch the plantar fascia and again, those layers of muscles on the bottom of the foot. With this one and all the stretches, perform two to four repetitions and hold each one for 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, so that's our first one, our plantar fascia and calf stretch. Another way to more specifically target your calf muscles is to get a tool that's specific for stretching them. This calf stretcher is a really cool one. You can find it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You put your heel back into the stretcher and then rock your heel back into ankle dorsiflexion and this will create a really strong stretch in our two calf muscles, gastrocnemius and soleus. So if you need something that's a little bit stronger in terms of getting that calf stretch, this can be a great tool. I'll put the link down in the description. For our next stretch, we're gonna use a stretch strap. These are really cool. It's just got loops in it, great for stretching. You can also use a long towel. So for this one, we're gonna target our hamstring muscles, another spot where people can get sore if they're doing lots of walking. So you're gonna hook your towel or strap around your foot, and then you're gonna lay back, both legs out straight, and then use your arms to bring your leg up until you feel a good moderate stretch right here on the back of your thigh. In your hamstring muscles, let your head rest on the ground. Your arms are doing the work here. My leg muscles are relaxed. And then again, hold for 15 to 30 seconds. When you've hit that amount, then go ahead and stretch the other leg. Make sure on all these to do the stretches on both sides, okay? So that's our next stretch, a hamstring stretch. Our next stretch is gonna allow us to stretch our quad muscles on the front of the thigh and our spine. It's a great stretch for getting both these areas and again, areas where people can get sore and stiff when they're doing lots of walking. For this one, lay on, uh, you're gonna lie on one side. You're gonna bring your top leg forward. So you're about 90 degrees at your hip and 90 degrees at your knee and they're gonna hold that leg with your top arm. I'm gonna then take my other arm and grab my ankle on my bottom leg and pull that leg back until I get a stretch on the front of the thigh on that bottom leg right in those quad muscles. So I get the stretch there and then the last step is to rotate my spine until I feel a stretch in my back. I'm gonna let my head rest on the ground. I'm gonna see how close can I get this shoulder to the ground and it may get to where it's a little bit hard to talk and breathe and that can be an indicator that maybe you've got a little bit of tightness in your thoracic spine, that mid-back region. So just hang out there, take some deep breaths, and let it stretch. Again, pull the top leg forward, grab that bottom ankle, pull your leg back till you get a stretch in the front of your thigh, and then rotate back. It's a little bit of a complicated one, but a great stretch for getting the spine and the quad muscles at the same time. All right, our fourth stretch here is gonna be for our glute muscles, another area that can get sore. So for this one, you're gonna lie on your back. You're going to bend both knees, cross one leg over the other. We're gonna stretch the glute area of the leg that's crossed. I'm gonna take my arms. One's gonna reach down between my legs and the other one's gonna reach on the side. I'm gonna grab this knee and then pull the whole unit up until I feel a stretch right here in kind of the glutes and the side of my leg. Again, hold for 15 to 30 seconds on each stretch. So say I get done with this one, I don't have to sit all the way back up. If you can coordinate it, you can just flip your legs, cross the other one over, and then reach between your legs and pull up. And I get a really, I'm much tighter on this side. I get a big stretch in my glutes. Take some deep breaths, try to let it relax. And again, hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Our last exercise here is for the low back. When you're walking and standing, your, sp your spine naturally goes into a lower dotic curve or extension. So if you're in that position for a long time, people can get soreness and kind of pain in their low back. So to combat that, we're gonna do a lumbar flexion or low back flexion stretch. There's two ways you can do this. The one a lot of people know is a child's pose type stretch. You're gonna go down on your knees, 
put your arms out and then just sit back. This will cause my low back to round. Again, it's gonna take it into that opposite position from standing, so I'm just gonna stretch there into flexion and let my low back just stretch like that. So that's one version, you could do child's pose. The other one is to lie on your back and we call this double knee to chest. It's gonna do the same thing. If I pull both knees up to my chest, it causes my hips to go into flexion, my, my pelvis tilts into posterior pelvic tilt and that causes my low back to round. Again, it's basically taking the spine into the opposite direction that would happen in walking and standing. When we stand up for an extension, this is gonna take the spine into flexion. All right, so those are five stretches that really can help with lots of walking. Give them a try and let me know if you have any questions. One last thing, my new book is out. It's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. It has rehab programs for the 50 most common conditions broken down by body region. So your shoulder has its own chapter, the back has its own chapter. All the programs have pictures of me doing the exercises. So if you'd like something comprehensive, you can have at home that, home that allows you to do your own rehab. I will put a link for the book down in the description. All right, you guys, see you in the next video. Bye.